uh, Dean and David, which is a healthy-ish restaurant. I've tried their menu before and it's delicious. I love the curries they have. I love the salads they have. I'm looking forward to my dinner with Saima. I keep confusing Saima with Samia because I know both names. How are you? So you guys, the lady of the hour is finally here. Saima. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> the one and only from Crunch Doha. I always rhyme whenever I say you anyway. <laughs> You're always such a bit supportive for us. Yeah, that's always nice. Yeah, because I love seeing businesses that are from Doha, Qatar, homegrown, really new concept. Besides, they're trying to help people in the community, so that's a big, a big win-win for me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um, so I'm Saima. The business started about four years ago. I keep saying three. I can't believe the past one year. I don't know where it's gone. Crunch Doha started in 2013, and it's uh, progressed from a training company to a nutrition company now as well. So that's doing well. Alhamdulillah. A lot, like touch words, uh, pretty happy with how it's going. So, yeah, that's what keeps us busy. We do meals basically, five meals a day delivered to your house. Pretty straightforward. If you want to know more? Ask Leila, she's tried all our boxes. <laughs> I love the muffin. I cannot she forget that muffin. I want more of those before I leave. Those muffins were so freshly made, it was so like you can taste it, you know, the yeah. homemade feeling to it. Yeah. It's not like generic and it doesn't yeah. taste like bakery we use, stuff because we use all original products, we yeah. use fresh every day. It's like it was walnut and banana as well. Yeah. Yeah. We it's have different flavors. We have blueberry, we have orange, we have uh, walnut and banana. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have some before I leave, inshallah. Yeah. Because you guys had cheap, cheap cheese, cheap goat cheese. cheese. <laughs> you make it sound like a like a tongue twister. <laughs> cheap <She's> cheese. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> that so weird. <laughs> I also have a green smoothie, the green machine. How I stay in shape. I actually do work out. I do, really. <laughs> Honest to God, I do. Actually, when I'm back in Muscat, I spend time and effort, like really working out and you know doing those your yeah, walks. I remember walks. seeing them on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walk, go, walk, you know, go workout routines and encouraging them, you know. But when I come here for the next two weeks, I'm just like squatting at home somewhere, <laughs> right here. Uh, melon love. Sheep's We're gonna find cheese. out what sheep's cheese really tastes like. Thank you. Is that the apple? Yeah, apple. Man, I eat everything that is possible with a healthy food business. I eat like everything. You put that on the blog and I kill both of you. I know you're from the bird as well. He said it's better. Okay, just for you, I'm gonna eat the sheep's cheese first. It's normal. <laughs> No, after taste. <laughs> mm, the chicken is so good. At least it doesn't have sheep's cheese in it. <laughs> I have melon and sheep's cheese. And beef. <laughs> it sounds disgusting. Yeah, so Dean and David has really fresh salads. I really like my salad, apart from the fact that this was the topic of the day with sheep's cheese. But the salad was fresh, nice, I like the juice. It was very tasty for a green juice. I would give this place an 8 out of 10. I really like the food at Dean and David. It has really fresh, you can taste every component that is put in. Sheep's cheese was excellent. I recommend it if you're coming here. Make sure you have the melon love with sheep's cheese. I think I would have to give it a 7. Why? Why less than Because why? the food was great, but the ambience could use a little lift me up. We lifted it up a lot. <laughs> Only weirdos here laughing and screaming. <laughs> Thursday. I'm here today going to have dinner at Fay Cafe. It's this little cute um, restaurant and cafe located at Al Sad here in Doha. And I'm gonna have dinner with my friend Ishraq. I'm meeting somebody new or I've met somebody new already so I'm excited. So I just had some pink hummus. It's really tasty. I hope the coloring is made out of beetroot and not like... Is this made... Wait, let me ask. Is this with like beetroot? Okay, thank you. I don't like anything pink. Like, I don't like anything pink <laughs> but I like the pink hummus. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Noor Al Nisp. I am a part-time photographer and I'm also very active on social media. I also work at the airport. I'm really happy with being with being with Layla today. Um, we're having good food and enjoying our time with amazing people. 
100. <laughs> 100, okay. <laughs> No, I would give it like uh, 8 out of 10. 8 you out of 10. Yeah, because it's like, it's good, but it's not excellent, but it's good. You, you, I would come back here, I would eat their pasta bechamel. I would not eat the chicken musafin. It was very greasy. The salad was really tasty. The rock up hair salad, highly recommended. And the ambience is really nice. The decor is really cute. I was with good people, so that was so much fun. Yeah, so that is why it's an 8 out of 10, because it's right there in the middle. I'll give it 8 as well. I like the environment, it's so nice and chilled out. I love the tea. I had salad and it was really good. Good morning, sabah al khair guys. Today is a Saturday and I'm going to be doing a photo shoot today for a brand name Femme Sans Peer. That means uh, women without fear. Excuse my French. It's a shoe brand. I discovered them myself a year ago. I've been like wanting to buy their shoes for the longest time but they weren't shipping all around the world but now they are. They're available in Level Shoe District and they're available online shipping everywhere around the world. Their stuff is so nice. It's edgy, it's unique and it's out of the box. And I'm gonna be working with this uh, cool makeup artist named Rahna. How I know her? It's actually been years since uh, we've met because we met when we both began our careers which was like five years ago or four years ago and I was just starting out as a fashion designer and she was just starting out as a makeup artist and we collaborated on a fashion show where she did makeup for my models and here we are now four years later we have made it in some ways in our um, industry so now we're coming together and she's gonna do my makeup for the shoot and I'm excited to see her it's been a while Allah, I miss you, man. Have you seen Shona? Thank you. You've been like, I saw your stuff. You've been like really at it. Really, Allah, the scene is wrong. I was telling, I was telling them like. I haven't seen you in like four years, but we were in the beginning of our Sa career. Sa and now we kind of did it. So Sa we're meeting back again. Sa oh my god. So, what are you thinking of? So, the shoe brand is called the Women Without Fear. Okay. So, I want you to make me look fearless with the makeup, you know? Okay. Yeah, do like your edgiest makeup. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Inshallah, 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 the photo. Habibti, thank you so much. Welcome, Habibti, Allah Thank you so much. Inshallah, Habibti. Bye bye. So guys, I'm here at the Western Doha. This is gonna be our set for today. Also have a room here. I'm gonna go, put my things there, get dressed, come back out. Hopefully the photographer will be here by then. Then we're gonna get started. I'm excited. This is my first time working uh, with a photographer as well. Very choosy when it comes to working with photographers. Not everybody gets to shoot this. <laughs> but I looked at his work and I was really interested because he does some really high fashion editorial like photos. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully I'm gonna pull this look off. Is it equal? No, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. If it's I need to fix it, tell me. No? Tell me the truth. So finally, <laughs> I have come across Rob. Man, he's so tall. Hard uh -huh, job for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dude who's gonna take my photos today and the one I was telling you about earlier who does high fashion style photos. I'm looking forward to it. Me too, pleasure to be part of it. Sounds a lot like Dushan. I was telling him I need the photographer's opinion about the makeup. Because, like, you know, we're all on the same page. With the outside, I have like two spots where I see that could be quite cool. We should check the first one. Guys, I wanted to give you a closer look to this uh, brand, Femme Sans Père. It is a brand that I am in love with currently. I've been in love with for a year now. So I ordered myself three pairs of shoes off of their website, which I'm going to list right here for you guys so you can go check it out. This 
my dear friends, is like a mix of gladiators with Oxford, you know? Look at it. It has like the Oxford style tip, but then the gladiator tie top. Fell in love with the chrome color. Can you tell it matches my nails? It's pure leather. This is made in Brazil with love. This one right here is called the Trina. It's something that I would definitely wear more casually because it's a flat. It makes it comfortable. Having these babies in my hand right now, you guys have no idea. I mean, look at this beauty. This is called the Aurora and you can see why. Angel represents a lot of things. This is the Python print. Really nice clean suede. Love the little logo for FSP World. So basically you can see you got three different types of shoes. One flat, other one a smaller, you know, mid-size heel. And then I got these bad boys. They're so bad. Every shoe is a shame. Look at these. I especially love the heel. So, I don't know, get in your face. I love the curve. It gives it that special touch. And I love the design here. Again, fearless, bold, edgy. Everything you wanna see in a shoe that's different, it's there. And guess what? Again, it's comfortable to wear, even though it's high as this. Detail they put into the shoe. It's like you can actually see, you can even feel the texture is like snake skin. Cause this is supposed to be Python print. It's awesome. I've stayed at the West End before uh, for like five days and I liked it, it was really nice. It's nice and modern. Everything here is like with a switch. I'm gonna put this down. So I'm gonna change now to my first look and then I'm gonna go meet the photographer again. We decided on the first location. We'll shoot and then I'll come back up here again. So here we are guys, this is the look. I'm really happy with the shoes and this look I styled. It's black and yellow. really nice shot. Rob turns out to be really good at what he does. So just finished the photo shoot. I'm hungry, my back hurt, I'm hungry, but it's okay because uh, as usual, the result was worth it. It was worth the wait. It was worth the rescheduling. It was worth all the hassle. Quickly wanted to show you guys what I like about the Western rooms. First of all, as I said before, very modern, very comfy, and it has a very high tech um, technology inserted into the room that helps it keep very modern. The other thing thing about it that I like is this personalized, you know, cabinet they have, which has all the good stuff stashed in here, you know. You got one drawer for yourself. They have a whole bunch of technology right here for you, so you never run out of battery, travel adapter, power bank, all sorts of uh, goodies. I love this room. I'd come back and stay here all the time for business or pleasure. Oh yeah, I wanna say a big thanks to Weston for hosting us today. And a big shout out to Rob, Jenny, for doing all the hard work. And of course, the beautiful makeup artist Rahma for making me look fabulous. Big, uh, for myself, because you know, I posed really well, right? <laughs> Thank you for watching and 